Yo, what's good people? It's your boy Tamar, living out another day. So, um, right now it's basically a standard Saturday. I'm in my house, um, it's nearly two o'clock. On the 13th of March now. Um, so, I'm just heading out, but the one thing that I am doing today that's a little different from the normal is I'm gonna go get a facial. So, this actually started off Back when I was on Insta and I saw like Hedy One's post, it's dark as shit in here, huh? But yeah, so I saw Hedy One put on a post about him getting a facial, and I was thinking, it's like, that looks kind of nice, you know? I'm seeing with the ointment, the ointment, and the rubbing and massaging. And then yesterday, my coworker um, Tian. Uh, if you saw from the last videos, he's the one that did the cheese board along with Kelly. So he went and got a facial as well. I'm like, steady. Since when is everyone doing all these things? So I bit the bullet. I asked him for the person who did it for. Booked with an appointment for half two. So I'm about to just jump on a bike right there and see what it's all saying. Because I know I've got like a bunch of blackheads and. I could just use a little smoothing up. I've got like my ingoing like what's your, what you call it? Rough ass neck. <sighs> and you'll probably notice my building's a walk up. So a lot of the buildings in Shanghai, if it's like the old builds, they don't have elevators. I'm on the fifth floor, so I end up having to walk up there. I'm used to it by now, so summer's coming. But I can't even say summer's coming, hold on a second, because today I wasn't sure what I wanted to actually eat. So I ordered from um, Spread the Bagel, which they do like crazy good bagels. I've ordered from there a couple times now. Pricey, but they're hella good. And couldn't help myself. I decided to get myself a set of cinnamon swells. I don't know if it's because they were fresher than I'm used to or something, but they tasted different. They were good, but maybe I'm just not used to quality cinnamon swells yeah that's me so yeah that's about it um so i'm gonna see how the actual facial goes i'll give myself a little update and see if i'm looking any more beautified in real life by the time i'm done um afterwards i need to talk about another vlog that i was supposed to have done time ago i still have my moving in vlog that i need to do um but this one's about one that I went to a water town called, um, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but Chibao. So we did that in the last, like on the last day of the, I need a bike. On the last day of our spring holiday. So we had that for two weeks. Um, there's a lot of footage we did from it. And it's even like a little compilation that my camera like did by itself afterwards. Um, so I'll put that in the end of the video. Other than that, yeah, we're good, but I can't even pay attention because I'm like, oh, I found one. I found one, found one, found one. So, I always be jumping on these hello bikes. Um, yeah, I'll catch you around. Okay, so I gave up trying to like film the stuff that been close to the gym. It's because the lighting was bad. There were people around. I didn't want to look like a psycho. So, it is what it is. But I ended up signing up for what will be my gym for the next like... A uh, year or so will decide if I end up joining a boxing gym, which I was thinking of. But this one's really close to my house, so it's hella convenient. Um, I can just go from work. The station is right basically underneath the gym, so I can head up to that. <sighs> Straight after I finish work every day. Um, oh, on another note. When I did the laser tag the other day, and I was thinking, it's probably been 10 years. And I couldn't find the photo from Reese's birthday. Hit up Reese and he found it. It turns out it was taken 2007. I think, no, it wasn't coming. Fuck, I forgot the date. I forgot the date, but. Wait, what's that date? 14, 2014? Maybe 2014. Either way, I'm pretty sure I worked it out that I was like. 15 14 years old so actually it's been more than 10 years since i did that and seeing how young i looked in that was crazy as well so i end up dropping that in the corner um 
The facial itself was hella good. I don't know if you can see any difference in my skin. It's radiating youth right now. It feels like 350 choir worth of beauty. At the beginning, it felt nice. Like she was there massaging like soap into it, some moisturizing stuff. It just felt smooth. It felt like feathers and, and, and Cupid's hands were massaging themselves over my face. I kept my eyes closed. So I wasn't even seeing what was going on. Let me just relive the moment right real quick. So I'm just sat there, she's massaging my face, massaging my face, massaging my face, making a little small talk. Then she puts on these like pad things and she squeezes this ointment onto it. And I'm just chilling there for a while. Feels nice, she wraps up my hair, does it nice. I'm surprised because when I went to get a massage, um, the woman ended up like massaging my head, but it fucked up my hair and it was just like popping all over the place. I like how she maintained it, see? It doesn't look bad. I've been there, I've been to the gym, I've worked out for like an hour, and it's still nice. It's still all good. So, that went well. Then she started taking out that sucking machine where she goes across. Boy, is there a hell of a lot of dirt in my skin. I was like, I'm like, beforehand, I was like, okay, my skin's a bit bad. It's okay though, it's okay. I'm not gonna lie, I wash my face. Often, I have a nice ass, like, cleanser that I'll give them as a gift. I use that every day. And I, I got this, uh, the other things I had from Muji, the f tonic water, something water, I use that, I use the moisturizer. How can my face be looking like, it's not even like dirt, it's just the stuff that's inside there. I was like, it was needed, it was needed. My face feels looser, I've got flexibility back in my face. It's like Botox was removed. Now I can see, I can see all that flexibility in my eyebrows. We're good, we're good. But then at the end, like that thing hurt a bit because she was like going over it and it, and it sucks. It sucks when she presses down. For a while I wasn't sure if it was a suction that hurt or if it's her pressing that hurt. It was probably both of them, but it was manageable. Then she's like, oh, she's gonna take out the little black hairs in my nose. And I'm like, it's fine. Do what you gotta do. I don't know what you've been doing so far. I don't know what you're about to do. Just do it, okay? Just do it, it's all good. She gets out these little pink things, like, like two little sticks. It's like tweezers, but there's one for each hand there, and she starts like pushing it in. And I'm sat there like this, just... Although I had to sneeze at one point, yeah? I'm just sat there like this, going through it, trying not to like flinch or anything, nothing. But if the camera was there at the time, and you could zoom into my face like this, you would just see tears streaming down my eyes and into my ears. It hurt so fucking bad. It felt like I was being stabbed. Like, if getting a tattoo felt like that, I couldn't have done it. I was, I was trying my best. I was trying my best, I'm just staying still. But like, my toes was clenched, my ass cheeks were clenched, my hands were clenched, my abs were clenched, my nuts were clenched. I'm telling you, I was suffering through that. And then I had to sneeze again, and I was just like, yeah, I'm good, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, keep going. It's fine. No problem. Me guanxi, me guanxi, me wenti. No, me shu. Go, just go, just go, go, just go, just go. Keep going, just finish, just finish. Anyway, we're done. Armor oh, bag, let me show you this real quick. She ended up doing this, telling me I should get these face mask things. Once I try these on, I'm gonna take a picture and let you see what it looks like. They're hella ugly. They look like that guy with the, that psycho that was taking people's skin off in that movie and put it on his face. Is it Freddy? Jason. I think it's Jason. I'm pretty sure it's Jason. It looks kind of like that. You look at, I'm looking at myself. I, you can't see obviously, but I've got like a, a screen on top and I can see like, my skin be looking smooth. Real smooth. Look at it glowing. Ah, oh, hello good. Um, I kind of forgot that I'm six minutes into speaking, I'm in my house. And I'm supposed to be talking about the water town that we went to on the last day of the holiday. It was really nice, it's called Chibao. Um, 
there isn't actually loads to say about it. We all kind of just decided, you know what, we're going to get up early, head over there. The, there was like a temple that was really nice. We were chilling. It was me, Orion, JT, Harry, and Kelly. I think that's all it was. Yeah, I think it's just um, six of us, including myself. It was hella good. We went looking around, we got a bunch of photos. There were loads of little like um, talismans put up there. There were loads of flowers. Hell of a lot of stinky tofu. So walking down them stalls was kind of rough. I've tried it before. It's not bad. It's not something I'd really eat. We got some nice ice creams. There was matcha flavor. There was strawberry, straight up vanilla. The only thing we actually bought there was the ice cream. I think JT got like candy floss. Um, but it was mainly for the sights. I was told that some a lot of the water towns look the same, but there are some others that I want to go to because I've heard some really good parts about them. And I'm not gonna just listen like that. Oh yeah, all the same. I've only been to one, so I know I should try some others. Um, yeah, so I'll put up the compilation from that that my camera took. I kind of like how it did it, you know. Kinda, and I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of whack, but it didn't take me any effort, and it looks decent. So I'm gonna put it up at the end. Um, yeah, after the water town, me and Kelly went to go get lunch, so we went down by Jing'an. I think it's Jin'an Temple, so we went down the station down there, like to the mall, and got like Chinese food. I'm not sure which ones we got it again, I think it was like the egg and tomato dish, a pork dish, uh, cauliflower with bacon bits, that's one that I really like a lot. Um, I don't know. That's about it. I feel like I'm forgetting something. If the camera cuts in like a couple seconds, then that's because. And last week, we also unanimously canceled the decision to lose weight because we're all fat. Fucked. I forgot something and I've decided to record something and I just thought out in the end. Anyhow, thank you for tuning in as usual and in a bit.